Let's bow our heads. Ahaya, Bahashim Yeshaya, Baba Wat Kadash. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Good morning to this lesson today. Um, we want to thank the Most High for another day. Um, we're glad to see everybody staying focused on the Most High and His Son, uh, you try Christ, and that we just really just, uh, what's some of y'all thankful for uh, this week? Anybody want to share what you thankful for? Whether you just getting here, you know, whatever it is you want to. Anybody want to share? Discernment. Discernment. <laughs> to protect you, right? Um, or it lead you to keep you in the way of the most high, right? Anybody else? Commandments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, let the commandments be your guide, huh? Mm -hmm. Letting them be your guide out here. Um, so me, my sanity. Yeah, yes. your sanity. My right mind. Yeah. Brother Rock. Kind of sound like a lot of people just thankful for the the direction of the most high. Um, just like the guidance. That's what I hear. I hear discernment, sanity, uh, commandments, um, guidance. All those things are the most high just keeping you on that path. And a lot of people kind of uh, just want to live this life according to uh, how they want to live it, right? They like, no, I'm, I'm not, I don't have to follow that. And then things happen and they're wondering why, right? Um, so it's, it's kind of everything everyone brought up today is, uh, you know, all praises. That's kind of going into what we're going into the lesson today. <coughs> on, um, you know, how do you know when the Most High is, is talking? Can you hear the Most High? A lot of people say, you know, well, God told me, and God told me this, God told me that. Um, what else some things that you hear out there? Yeah, because cause I, I know that this is from God, right? I know that this is that, but how do we really know that? How do we know what's from the Most High God, right? Because we uh, we uh, make a a decision off of you know what's what our flesh what our fleshly desires want, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll make it right. <laughs> you know you're not supposed to be doing something. You'll be like, no, nah, you know what? No, nah, this, this uh, I want this so much. I trick my mind into wanting this way or this something, right? And um. It's very important. We always bring out, you know, the flesh against the spirit. But um, we have to really key in on that and take that to heart. We got to hold on to that because the things that you want, your fleshly desires will go against what the most high got for you. And the only way to serve the most high is what? When you're in your, when you dealing with him in the spirit. Uh -huh. When you're in your flesh, it's, that's not going to be pleasing to him because the things of the flesh are of this world. Like the word says, so we'll title it um how to hear the Most High God, huh? Let's go to uh, Matthew twenty-seven and eighteen. It's the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-seven and verse eighteen. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Mm -hmm. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas. We just wanted to bring out there, like, look, she had this dream. She knew, okay, now this is of the most high. Some people go off of their dreams and and some dreams aren't really from the most high, right? But we know he dealt with the prophets and people through their dreams. But some people's dreams, let's go to uh, Ecclesiasticus 
you know, the proper book. Let's go there, um, chapter 34. Some people be misled by their dreams, right? Martin Luther King had a dream, right? And, and back then, we was doing better as a people before his dream. And they finance NAACP and all these things and bring you into this destruction where we at today, lost with nothing, right? You don't have nothing. But before that, you had a little, you had more. But he had a dream we should all come together, but really we know this was their dream to further destroy the children of Israel from within. Let's go to, uh, let's start at verse one. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 34 and verse one. The hope of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools. Whoso regardeth dreams is like him that catcheth at a shadow and followeth after the wind. The vision of dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another, even as the likeness of a face to a face. Of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? And from that thing which is false, what truth can come? Divinations and soothsayings and dreams are vain, and the heart fancieth as a woman's heart in travail. If they be not sent from the Most High, if they what? If they be not sent from the Most High, if these dreams be not sent from the Most High. Uh huh. In thy visitation, set not thy heart upon them. Yeah, because you will be deceived, thinking that it's from the Most High, and it, that's not what it could be. Sometimes, couldn't agree. For dreams have deceived many, and they have failed that put their trust in them. Mm -hmm. The law shall be found perfect without lies. Without lies. And wisdom is perfection to a faithful mouth. Mm -hmm. A man that hath traveled knoweth many things. Come. So look, when it comes to the dreams, it gotta be of the most high. It gotta be of the most high. How do you know it's of the most high? We're gonna get to it. Let's go to just go to Jeremiah uh, 23 and 21. The most high got what? Commandments and a law to guide you. If it's against that, like you, ha you have, uh, like we always bring up out there, you know, entertainers. We don't even have to go that far. Just our people in this world, right? Yeah, yeah. God bless me. How He blessed you with that? Say you got blessings too, and you've been doing evil for a long time. That's not of the Most High. That's you getting your kingdom here. You're not gonna get the kingdom to come if you're not what following the Most High's commandments. You gotta live according to His ways. That's the only way. Con. That's really, that's the only way. Let's go, uh, Jeremiah 23 and verse 21. It reads, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had, count, and, so like it, and had caused my people to hear my words. You have to hear what are the words of the Most High God. That's why you got to study, uh huh. Then they should have turned them from their evil way uh -huh. and from the evil of their doings. So check that out. If we are, if this is of the Most High, you're going to be turned from your evil way. You know that this right here, since you've been really studying and changing your life, that this is of the Most High God. I have some knowledge. I'm not following every day while I'm at work. Who you think's gonna win the, the, the presidential debate? <laughs> and being in this truth for so many years now, um, you definitely walk, you will, well, I like to give a little bit more mercy to our people. We know that we were all blind once in this too. So, you know, you let them talk, but then finally, if they just keep coming, look, man, the game is rigged. If, if all of that is just, all of that is theater. Try to break it down to them, then it gets too deep. Uh. We'll change the subject. How deep do you want to go? Hmm. How deep do you want to go? But the most high people, matter of fact, go to uh, go to Isaiah 26. Because if you're saying you got a God of truth, go to 26 and verse 2. Let's hit that real quick. It reads, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth uh -huh. may, may enter in. 
So you must keep it the truth. You got to want to walk in truth. People don't want to walk in truth. That's why they don't want to follow this the, the God of Israel. That's why they don't want to resurge. It's, it's how that's just too much. We always talk about how you work hard for his kingdom in this world, trying to obtain things and keep a lifestyle and keep everything. But are you really doing this work of why you're here with this time giving? You helping out people that's less fortunate. You you telling them about the most high God. You telling them the truth. All these things. Getting your works up, right? Time. Getting these works up. Storing your treasures in heaven. And if you got anything, Lama Wai, come in. Let's go to uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 and 11. You was asking, young brother, how do you know that the Most High God is speaking to you? Well, you will turn from your evil ways. You will be keeping these commandments. It will be of him. You will be patiently waiting on him. Matter of fact, yeah, get that real quick. Go ahead. The book of 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak... Let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. They will be speaking about the oracles of the Most High God. Like we're saying, uh, the Martin Luther King speeches. And granted, that doesn't make someone, you know, they just might not be there yet. They don't know that, like, what's going on here in Babylon is all prophecy going on. They might wake up next year, two years, wherever it's at. You just keep telling them about the Most High God, showing mercy. People wake up at their own time. It's, it's the Most High that that wake people up to what's really going on and open their eyes. It's not because we just, oh, well, I gave you so much knowledge, and yeah, that's what caused them to wake up. No, you give them all that today, and before you know it, someone waking up saying, hey, remember that stuff you were telling me two years ago? Yeah, I've been looking mm. up on it. Mm, come on. So it's when the most high pull you. That's what the word says. That's what the word says. So he say, look, you got to speak as the oracles of God. Read that part again. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. Mm -hmm. You got to speak by these oracles of the Most High God. No one's speaking of, the more, the, of these oracles. That's why you can't get your answers in atheist teachings, Buddha teachings, Muhammad teachings, science, um, modern day Catholic and Christian churches. That's not telling, they're not telling people the truth. They're not really digging. Why, why is all this going on? If they were digging for truth, they would know that America's going downhill. But they're thinking you could pray for it. You can't pray for Babylon with all the blood that's been shed and all the evil that's here. So how do we know that this is of the most high God? You would be, does it say this in his word? Does it say it in his word? Or is it? Go to uh, Jeremiah 17. Let's start at verse 7. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. So we got to trust on the Lord. Sometimes we're always in a rush to get certain answers or just make certain moves. Everyone knows what they deal with, right? You got to trust in the Lord. You know what? I'm going to be patient a little. I'm going to see what he's trying to show me. Because he might not want that for me. He might have something better for me. I keep chasing that. Or, look, I'm just going to, I got to have that. Come on, I just got to try again. I just got to try again. No, he does not want you to have that. And you keep getting messed up. Going back to certain old relationships that destroyed you and things like that. Mm. You should know them by their fruits. That's what this word says. You don't know people of, wh of what they really about. Let's finish reading. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, mm -hmm. and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh. But her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Watch the next part. Uh-huh. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Yeah, because, well, I really want this. I really, your, your, your desires of something, right? It's deceivably wicked. Look, what you think you want, that might not be from the most high. You not in the spirit, right? You just want something. I got to have it. I got to have it. You in your lust. 
And you got to know the difference. That's why we're saying how you know it's of the most high. You got to think. A lot of people, every day, we should, when we end the day, before we uh, get ready to go to sleep, we should be, we should be assessing how did we, we should be judging ourselves every day. Go to uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 31. We should be, did I handle that right? Did I do, did, we should be judging ourselves, right? Make sure that you stand because the more the more you do that, the closer you're going to stay with the most high. Bring that up. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 31. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. Yeah, so the Lord might be chastising you to bring you back. Look, you going off a little bit. You better consider your ways. Consider your ways every day. Some people not considering their ways. They thinking that just gain is godliness. Mm. It's just it's just all about well if I'm getting this worldly substance, God is with me. But you don't even know he got a rule book. You don't know he got law, statute, commandments. You don't know he got a Sabbath day. You don't know nothing, right? You don't have no knowledge. You establishing your own righteousness, like this word said. Go to um go to first Timothy chapter six. First Timothy chapter six. Let's get a uh, let's start verse ten. Let's start verse one. Charlie. Book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, and verse 1. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor. The name of the Most High and His doctrine be not blasphemed. His doctrine. His doctrine is blasphemed. How would the Most High's doctrine be blasphemed? Anyone know what that means? Anybody? How would... Huh? That's one. Mm-hmm. Not rightfully dividing this word in truth. If I come in here and say, I, I got a message from the Lord today. We need a big building so we can get more members. Everyone, I need $100 from everyone in here today. That's what the, Where is that in the word? Don't nothing that, it, it got to be about this word. That's blaspheming this word. Bringing forth some other doctrine. Well, we supposed to read this book and the Quran and then... It's so many ways you could be blaspheming the Most High's doctrine. You got to know, look, it's all about this from the front to the back. If it's not in here, it's not the truth. Keep it reading. Verse 2. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of, ben of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yeshua Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. Which is what? According to godliness. Mm -hmm. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmissings, Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. People be destitute of truth, right? Uh -huh. Supposing that gain is godliness. That what? That gain is godliness. Supposing that gain is godliness. They're only looking to serve the most high God according to what they have. I'm, well, I like to thank God for this, right? And it don't have nothing to do with him. How do we know that Satan got gifts? Anybody? Anybody? Huh? Huh? Let's go to uh. Mhm. Mm hold hold that. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter four. Start at uh, verse 8. No, it's 
the book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 7. Yeshua said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. So if you worship him, he gonna give you a lot. The rich, the elite in this world, look, he giving them everything in this world. So you got to know that, look, oh, yeah, you're doing evil. Some people get it for just a small amount of time, but your life is not that long. That's the trick of the devil. Go to, uh, still hold what you got, First Timothy. Go to uh, First Peter. Chapter 1, verse 24. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, and verse 24. For all flesh is as grass. All flesh is as grass, uh huh? And all the glory of man as the flower of grass. Uh huh. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. Uh huh. But the word of the Most High endureth forever. 100 years, 200 years, 1,000 years. All the people that have come and had some type of glory in this world. Look, it don't even matter now. But this word is still here, right? These prophecies, everything is still here. So we get puffed up like we always bring out um, Ecclesiastes 10 and 9 about why is earth and ashes so proud, right? <coughs> why is earth and ashes so proud? You, What they say, it's ashes to ashes, dust to dust, right? You just ashes and you so puffed up. These things aren't real. So the devil gets you thinking that you... You don't even need your maker. You don't. You think you don't need your maker. So we got to know that we need this, right? Go back to uh, what you got, chapter 6 and 1 Peter. Any questions? No. Con. Con. Picking up in 1 Timothy, chapter 6, the end of verse 5. From such withdraw thyself, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Mm -hmm. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. When you understand that and you hold on to that, you don't do all the wicked things that people doing to get ahead. Con. You know, you don't lose your soul behind this stuff. People losing their soul right now out there behind this stuff. And then, you, look, you, you don't know that your time is coming. You're going to be up out of here. So you got to listen. What is the, what's the Lord talking about, right? Let's go Jeremiah 14 and 14. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. So even back then, from back then, even on today, there was always prophets. Look, the Lord said this, I had a vision. We're going to do this. God's going to bless America. Pray for Israel over there. And real Israel ain't got no help in these inner cities mm. <laughs> since they've been here. God. Promising you, promising you help. You, Israel dying what? 600 bodies in Chicago, 100 in Sacramento, 500 in St. Louis. All these bodies, you getting tore up in, in America, but yet you supposed to be over there praying for the Israel over there. So that's the deception, right? These prophets on TV lying to the people. That's why no one knows. It says great, great confusion in the last days. Talks about great confusion everywhere. And that's where we at. No one has answers. Proverbs 3 and 5. No one has answers except 
the most high God. You gotta be in his word. And someone that that's teaching the people the word. And you gotta do your due diligence and teach other people. What are you doing while you're here? Was you going hard? But you want this glorious kingdom, right? Mm. You want to go to heaven, right? Well, do you know about the God of heaven? Bring that out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Huh? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. With all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. So we're not supposed to lean to... A lot of times we'll get to lean into our own understanding when we get in our flesh, right? Be, be patient. You got to wait on it. Uh-huh. And all thy ways acknowledge him, mm -hmm. and he shall direct thy paths. So if we acknowledge him and we stay focused on him, he directs our path. We don't have to, we want to be in the driver's seat as mankind, womankind, right? We think we got so much control. A lot of people think they got so much control, and then boom, cancer. Mm. Boom, car accident. Mm. Boom, divorce. Boom, whatever it is. Your children, something happened, like it's, you get humbled, so you got to always give it up. Give it up to them, right? Time. Uh, Isaiah 66 and 4, and those that's going to, you know, get out of this, this world without them, no second chance at this, right? They heard the call. They see what you're doing. They see you done change your life, and you in that Bible, you in that holy Bible. Go to, uh, let's get 66 and verse 4. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 4. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Mm -hmm. Hear the word of the Most High. So we supposed to what? We always supposed to hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. It's even with Moses. It was all about this word of the Lord coming to him to deliver a message. Bring that out. Hear the word of the Lord. Ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, let the Lord be glorified. But he shall appear to your joy. And they shall be ashamed. See, you don't want that up on you. A lot of people are going to have that up on, on them, right? Ashamed. How could I deny this? How could I let the ministers of darkness on the television and on the internet that's, that's giving me my answers, that, telling me to vote for them, how would I get them away from my God? How would I get, let them trick me? And you give life, right? The Most High gives life. Go to um, Micah chapter 3. What's the top? Uh, nah, we just going to get verse 11. Time. The book of Micah, chapter 3, and verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward. No, 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 no. Select one. Start at verse 5. The book of Micah, chapter 3, and verse 5. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, mm -hmm. that bite with their teeth and cry, Peace. And he that putteth not into their mouths, they even prepare war against them. Therefore, night shall be unto you, that ye shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you, that ye shall not, that ye shall not divine, and the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the, div the diviners confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer of the Most High. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Most High, and of judgment, and of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgression, and to Israel his sin. And that's what's going on now in these last days, right? Waking up the sons and daughters of Jacob, right? And proclaiming, look, we was in sin. You didn't know. You was thinking that evil was good. 
Now look, change your ways. Just like when he woke us up leaving Egypt, we had to get it together. He gave us the law. And in these last times, that's what's going to protect people. Uh, all these murders with, uh, with the children of Israel today, when you just get online in every city, um, if you don't got this hedge of protection from the Most High, you're not going to make it through every phase. Mm -hmm. It don't matter how smart or how brave or big muscles or big guns, whatever you got, if you don't got this, you're going to be done. Gone. So how do you know that you follow in the ways of the Most High? You're doing what this says. Let's keep it going. Verse 9. Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob, uh -huh. and princes of the house of Israel, that abhor judgment, shalaki, that abhor judgment and pervert all equity. What does that mean? They that abhor judgment. What does abhor judgment mean? Con. Keep going. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. Mm -hmm. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. And the prophets thereof divine for money. They just want money in the pulpit. They're not telling the truth, right? Uh huh. Yet will they lean upon the Lord? So they'll lean upon the Lord, right? And say, "Is not the Lord's? Um, is not the Lord among us?" Look, the Lord dealing with us. Look at everything we got. Uh huh. None evil can come upon us. Therefore shall Zion, for your sake, be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps and the mountains of the house as the high places of the forest. So look, divining for money, not really giving you prophecy. Remember in uh, the book of Revelation, you got to have the testimony of your shy Christ and prophecy, right? You got to know these prophecies. So when they tell you, you, you're not supposed to read the Old Testament. No, you're supposed to deal with the whole thing. Why would the Most High have his Israelites and scribes pen all this for you to not have some understanding. Mm. Things of four time written for our learning, right? Let's go uh, Acts 21. Let's get some examples of, you know, people uh, saying they got a word from the Lord and just stepping in his way. Stepping in his way of his plan. The book of Acts, chapter 21, and verse 8. And the next day, we that were of Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip, the evangelist, which was one of the seven, and abode with him. And the same man had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. And as we tarried there many days, there came down from Judea a certain prophet named Agabus. And when he was come unto us, he took Paul's girdle and bound his own hands and feet and said, Thus saith the Holy Spirit, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man that owneth this girdle and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. He thought he was prophesying, right? He said, look, look, Paul. He grabbed Paul's girdle, look, the man that want to go to Jerusalem, yeah, if you wearing this, I got a prophecy. You going you gonna to die. What Paul say, uh-huh. And when we heard these things, we both and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. I don't go. He got a word of the Lord, uh-huh. Then Paul answered, what mean ye to weep and to break mine heart? For I am ready not to be, Salakia, so like for I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord, Yeshia. Look, why are you over there weeping for me? I'm going to Jerusalem to do this work. You making up stuff. Because why? The word of the Lord is telling that. So between a lot of people pushing this, uh, pushing the word or just, um, I don't know, these tarot reading cards and all these people that's extorting people out of money for the seminars, Babylon is falling. That's mm. what this word says. That's what's going to happen. Every kingdom on this earth that ruled, what? Uh, Greeks, Persians, uh, ancient Babylon, Egypt, 
now it's Babylon's time to fall. That's what the word says. So anybody that's saying that that's not true, they're not reading this word. Mm. That's not of the most high God. 1 Corinthians 14. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, and verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, uh -huh. but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. For, get that in strong. For the Most High God is not the author of confusion. We're going to get confusion. Because that's all you see uh, with what they're giving us. It's a lot of confusion. Every four years, it's just both. In God we trust. It's just both. We go outside, it's more and more um, alphabet stuff going on. On your TV, it's alphabet stuff. On the commercials, you can't get away from it. And it's like, man, what? it seems like that what, what, what God says has been getting uh, twisted more and more through time here in, in Babylon, in America. More and more, it's crazy out here, right? No morals. The grandmas today are different than the grandmas was. The grandpas, right? Uh, the children, everybody's is, is just different. No morals, no morals that come from the Most High God. Bring that up. This is G one eighty one. It's instability. Instability. Disturbance. Mm -hmm. Upheaval. Revolution. Almost anarchy. First in the pol political and thence in the moral sphere. Political confusion as well. Y'all go yet on that? Con. Yeah, it's instability bringing disorder. Con. Very disorder here. The Most High God is not the author of that. So when they say in God we trust and listen to them, it's confusion. You don't know where to turn. Trump fighting the case this week. Now it's this, it's, it's this theater that's going on, all people must wake up and see that they have been being played for the last 2,000 years, really. Um, Ecclesiastes 32 and 17. And like we were saying earlier, going into uh, just listening to the Most High God and correcting yourself, judging yourself, some people don't want that. They're not looking for his guidance like Brother Iraq was bringing out what he was thankful for when we started, right? Let's get 32 and uh, 17 in Ecclesiastes. It reads, A sinful man will not be reproved. A what? A sinful man will not be reproved. You don't want correction. But findeth an excuse according to his will. Sit on that. He'll find an excuse according to his own will. If you want God... If you want the most high to be your guide, you have to take what? Accountability. Uh. That's a big thing that's going on with our people. Um, people don't want no accountability, right? They want to do what they want to do. You can't look. Can't no one come to your house and do whatever they want to do, right? You might have rules. People might take out their shoes off. No bouncing that ball in the house. Something. You can't just go in the most high's uh, kingdom and just think you're going to do whatever you want. Is what it is, right? Let's go to uh, James one and three. If you can't get it right here, oh man, you're not even trying to get it right here. How you gonna get it right in the kingdom? You kick Satan out, right? <laughs> you can't do what you want to do. One and thirteen. It's the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 13. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. Mm -hmm. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Man, God trying to tempt me, man. I just can't leave her alone. I can't, I can't leave. I just can't stop be doing my old ways. I think God testing me. No. Keep reading. Neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. You that's why you're doing those things, right? You got to know the difference. Uh-huh. And enticed. 
Then, when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. Now you sin. Uh -huh. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Why does it say, and when, and when it's finished, bringeth forth death? Why does it say that? Because sin is what? The book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For wages, for the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. The more you sin, death, right? Let's go back to uh, in James. James chapter 1 and verse 15. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Book of James, chapter 3, and verse 16. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. There, when there's confusion, the most high, not the author of confusion. You got to know that, family. Look, if something's going on and you're trying to figure out an answer and it just seems so confusing, nah, that's not of the most high God. Something is off here. Something is off. Some people, you know, they'll have a conversation with you. And I'll just, I'll just hear confusion. I'm like, okay, something's off. And what is that? They're not telling you the whole truth. <laughs> uh, it's not adding up because they don't want to tell you a piece or they trying to get over or they lying. Okay, something's off here. Something is off here. When you in a spirit like that, your discernment is going to be stronger. You're going to know. Uh. It's, something's off right now because this is not adding up. Keep it going. Verse 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. Then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated. Easy to be entreated. Uh -huh. Full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Without hypocrisy. A lot of hypocrisy in the world, right? You mad at Zimmerman, but you love your favorite killing rapper, right? Mm. <laughs> you, <laughs> you mad at the police shooting. Oh, you love when you out there representing that evil, right? So, our people, right? Why the Most High call us a hypocritical nation? Let's go to uh, James 1 and 22. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 22. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. You're only deceiving yourself. You got to do what this word says, right? You got to live by him. Many people aren't doing that. They're just using it in the name. Uh, 1 John 3 and 22. Can you go get that? Can you go get that? Yeah, you can go. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments uh -huh. and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Read that again. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments mm -hmm. and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son. So this is a commandment that you even believe on his son. Uh -huh. And that we should we believe on the name of his son, Yeshua Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. See, people think you could come up some other way. Like John chapter 10 said, you can't come up some other way. This is a commandment. 
you got to believe on him as what? As the? Believe on him as the what? As the scriptures say. That's what the word says. You must believe on him as the scriptures say. Go to um, Proverbs 28 and 9. Got a few more and we're going to be wrapping it up. Go into the book of Proverbs chapter 28. Verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayers shall be abomination. If you want him to hear your, your prayers, you got to be in obedience to him. You cannot just do what you want. We have to hit that home because if people saying that, well, I had a vision. Um, I, well, I, I think the Lord is telling me this. You don't even you don't even want to keep his commandments. So what are you talking about? Mm. You not you not hearing that. John fourteen from the top. It's the book of Saint John, chapter fourteen, verse one. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. And my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may also be. And whither I go, ye know. And the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how we can know the, the way, and how can we know the way. Yeshua saith unto him, I am the way. He's the way. The truth. The truth. And the life. And the life. So if you want to know the truth, this is why. If you sit back, I was telling one of the brothers yesterday, if you sit back and watch, I don't know this, uh, someone you, you know, entertainment or someone that's bringing forth knowledge none of them could connect the dots without this without this word none of them none of them can connect the dots they're all this scattered information but they don't believe in this they can't put together the timetable why are we in this condition what's to come they still thinking black people gonna come together in america and here this is what we got to do we're getting closer to it this is not your kingdom you're never going to be top dog in this world now go to second uh, uh, just Hold that. The book of Second Ezra, chapter six, and verse eight. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. Esau will be ruling at the end of this world, uh huh. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Jacob's rulership not coming until Christ comes. You're gonna look, you're gonna always be getting their money that they're printing. You're gonna always be paying taxes on their property that they own. You're gonna always be going to get your fruit out they store with, with barcode. So if they anyone telling you different, that's not the truth. That's why I was bringing that out. Because that's not what the word says. Nowhere is, are you just gonna be a superpower in America. This is not your kingdom. You're supposed to repent. And get ready for what's to come in this world. Come. Let's keep it going. Uh, back at uh, so I get, uh, John 14. Come. John chapter 14 and verse 6. Yeshua saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Uh -huh. if, ye had, if ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him. And have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Yeshua saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me? Salakia. Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Mm -hmm. Believest thou not? that I am in the Father, and that the Father in me, and the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, 
but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Mm -hmm. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than, than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask, in, ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Gotta keep those commandments, uh huh. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. And lead you into this truth, this Ruach, right? That wisdom that comes from the Ruach, to lead you into all truth. That's what you're listening for, right? Keep it going. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. And I will leave, it's like it, and I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Mm -hmm. So you got to be all about him, right? John 8 and 31. John chapter 8 and verse 31. Then say Yeshua to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. If ye what? If ye continue in my word. Then are ye my disciples indeed. Isaiah 8 and 16. The book of Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 16. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. So his disciples have the what family? Read that part again. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. They have the law. Go to uh, that in Strong's. What does law mean? What does law mean? What's the definition of that law that that people have from the Most High God? H eighty four fifty one. Torah. Mm -hmm. They got the Torah. What does Torah mean? Direction. Direction. Instruction. Instruction. It's direction and instruction for mankind. This is the law. This is how you, this is what's going to get you the kingdom. This is what's going to get you to live a certain way in this world. Proverbs 19, last scripture. Proverbs 19, uh, 20 through 21. Instruction. People don't want instruction. I don't need no instruction. You, you, Man, I'm trying to uh, build something you might buy. You trying to you get your screwdriver? Man, I don't need them instructions. I'm I'm big on that, right? Then I gotta come back to the instructions mm. every time. Thinking I, I got it, I could just look. Now you gotta start all over, right? So mankind, it's some instructions for you. Bring that out. Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 20. Hear counsel and receive instruction. <laughs> Hear counsel. And receive instruction, uh -huh. that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The counsel of the Lord will stand. Think about it, family. A lot of our people, especially uh, the men, they be dying young, living an evil lifestyle, dying in their teenage years, 20s and We'll leave it there. Most they're not. Some are not making it to no thirty. They die young. Why? Because they are not. They are not living by the ways of the Most High God. It say, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. 
So stand with this, be firm, right? And uh, any questions on lesson? No? Well, we're going to pray out, you know, thank the Most High, everybody here today. Um, just knowing when, when it comes from the Most High, it's not going to be confusion. Um, you got to wait on him sometimes. You got to you gotta wait on him. You have to wait for the Ruach to reveal some truth. And if it's, if it's got to do with some wickedness, it's definitely not from him. We should all understand that by uh -huh. now. Um, and just staying focused on, on uh, the ways of, of his son Christ. That's the, that's the main thing. So you can, you can be strong out here. Anything for you, Lama Wad? Uh -uh. All right, family, let's pray out. Ahaya, Bahashim Yeshaya, Wawa Kadash. Our Father, 